Hey everybody, Chris Petri here. Welcome again and thanks for coming by. We're having a fun time here doing some drawing and sketching. I was uh, looking at some sketchbooks here I have and I know many of you have actually mentioned that uh, in the comments section and, and some of you have emailed me and um, reached out and said, hey, we really, many again, quite a few of you have mentioned you like to see drawings and sketches a little bit more. Um, so we're going to do some of that here on this video. We're not going to take a ton of time. We're just going to basically uh, zone in and say to ourselves, how do we do these kind of sketches uh, uh, You know, in the field? This one here, I set up a lawn chair right outside the apartment buildings uh, right near where I live to do this uh, drawing here. It's a pen drawing. I use basically a very simple um, Uniball. It's called, it's the brand is Uniball Vision Elite Pen. And it's a fine point pen. And then I also use to shade in some of the areas along the roofs here and along the grass areas. I used a china marker, a Fano china marker, and it's a black noir, and it's a uh, number 77. And these are pretty easy to get. They're very inexpensive. So if you're just starting out, you don't have to spend a fortune. You get a any kind of office black office ink pen is fine, and uh, a china marker. And then you'll have your shading tool and your drawing tool. And then maybe just one more thing, if you have an office pencil or a retractable pencil like this, like a retractable pencil where you can just thumb uh, click the top of the pen and uh, pencil and you'll have more lead coming out so that's a retractable pencil so these are good to do your preliminary sketching first to kind of get your idea of what you want to draw and then uh, and then you can do the rest with the um, pen and the china marker so I hope we can just cover this real quickly so that if you're out and about and you're on vacation or if you're just uh, during the weekend you want to go out and do a little pencil sketching nearby where you live or in your backyard or if you just want to work from uh, a video or a picture online or some pictures in a magazine or photographs old photographs or photographs that you have you can really use anything for your reference material I'm just happening to use my sketchbook here that I have from uh, I keep sketchbooks uh, especially like um, when I first started really trying to improve on my watercolors and my drawing skills, I just kept these sketchbooks, and this is an actual um, Strathmore sketchbook. And it's a 9 by 12. I'll zoom back a little bit. So it's a 9 by 12 sketchbook. They come in smaller sizes too. You can, you can take printer paper and staple printer paper together, printer paper together, and do that for sketching. You can take your printer paper and cut it in half and make a smaller version of a, like a half a sheet of printer paper just like this. So if you have a, a full sheet of printer paper like this, you can take it and you can just basically fold it across like so. And you can just, you know, kind of like use a pen or a pencil or something like that. And then you take it and then you can just trim it in half. Like that, you trim it in half and then you can just tear it like so. And you can take these and then you can take a bunch of them, maybe a dozen, and you staple them together here. And then you have it. And you have a nice little homemade sketch pad. If you don't want to go out and purchase something like this, you don't want, you don't have the time or you don't feel like spending the money, you just want to, you're not sure if you're going to even be drawing and, you know, painting in watercolor, you might just be starting out, you know, doing something like this where you just take some simple printer paper you can use that that's fine you know you could take full sheets if you want to and sketch on full sheets staple these together just you have a full you know like about maybe 10 15 pages of uh, printer paper office printer paper and there you go you have your sketch pad all set nothing fancy the idea is we're trying to sketch maybe 10, 15 minutes a day. So if you can get 10 or 15 minutes in a day, you're going to be set. Your drawing skills will skyrocket. You'll be really doing a great job and progressing really tremendously if you're getting 10, 15 minutes in a, a day of practicing. That's the key, consistency. If you can consistently do it 10, 15 minutes every day, you are really going to improve. If you kind of say, ah, oh, I'm too busy, i got to watch this TV show or that thing or whatever else, then if you're just doing it once a week for 10 minutes, your skills will not, you can kind of, does that make sense? Your skills are going to be 
um, you know, only as much as you're practicing. So, like, if you see somebody that has really good drawing skills, you, you'll know they were practicing a lot. If someone's drawing skills are not too good, you'll know they haven't done a lot of practicing and working on their drawing skills. That's all it is. There's no real special um, talent where someone, you know, just picks up pencils and starts drawing. We all start with stick figures. Always remember that. You as an artist have to realize that no matter where you're starting, whether you're starting out and you've already been doing sketches and, you know, you have some good drawing skills or halfway decent drawing skills, but if you're just starting out and you have zero drawing skills, everyone starts that way. Everyone starts with no drawing skills, with just stick figures, or not even stick figures. Some people have a hard time with those. No worries. You're doing 10, 15 minutes every day. You're going to get better no matter what. And eventually you're going to get progress. And then you'll be doing whatever your heart desires as far as drawing goes. But you just got to put in that 10, 15 minutes every day. And then you can up it a little bit once you start doing it and it's a habit all the time, you'll automatically do it for a half an hour a day or maybe even an hour a day. So I know that's true. I've done it myself, and I'll tell you that's the fact. If you just start out with 10 minutes a day, after a month or two, you'll do 15 or 20 minutes a day, and it won't seem like anything. It'll be easy. You can even do it while you're watching TV or if you have to do other things you, or you want to listen to the radio. You can do it. You can do sketching anytime. It doesn't matter, except you don't want to do it when it's not safe to do it obviously you wouldn't want to sketch when you're driving a car or if you're trying to do something very important you know that you have to have your attention on you don't want to do that but any other time you can do your sketching so let's do this let's take a little small excerpt from here and we'll try that all right so let me just i'll just move this up over here maybe we'll zoom in a little more like that there we go let me zoom in on that. And I'll get a piece of printer paper. And I'll set my printer paper down like so. A little bit of artist tape. So I'm going to tape down my paper. You always want to have your paper secured like either with tape or a like a um, binder clip something like this you always want to have your paper that you're working on that you're drawing on secured with tape or a binder clip or something rubber band so it doesn't move around and slide around because that'll throw your drawing all off that's the only thing I have to say about drawing is really important is keeping it steady and not letting it move around and I'll just take my sketchbook and just tape that down a little bit too so it doesn't move around okay so we have everything taped down good so the first thing we'll do is we'll we'll say let's do a preliminary sketch of one little small area maybe let's do this doorway here so what I'll do is I'll take my pen because we're going to use the Uniball Vision Elite pen so that's my pen I use for drawing most times Vision Elite by Uniball, fine point pen, and then I use a China marker, a fan, Fano China marker 77 black slash Noir. These are the two main pen drawing and shading tools I use, and then I use a either retractable pencil or an office pencil to do a preliminary sketch, and that's all there is to it. Very simple. And this pencil is a um, Pentel 0.9 millimeter um, retractable pencil. And it's kind of easy to see. It's kind of like a um, yellow ochre looking color for the color of the retractable pencil. So let's do this. Let's take our pen, our Uniball Vision Elite pen, and I'm just going to make a rectangle like this. like that. Simple. It's more of a square. And then we're going to pick something here and just do a quick sketch. And you'll just see this is the process we use for doing any sketch you want to do anywhere, anytime, using any subject matter. OK, 
okay, the first thing I'm going to do is zone in and say, okay, I want to do over here. Simple way to do that would be to take two pieces of paper that are L's in shape. Let me zoom out just so you can kind of see. So I have two pieces of uh, this is actually watercolor paper that I just trimmed out two L-shaped pieces of paper like that. Two L-shaped pieces of paper. Then I just come over to my paper over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're just going to pencil out a small area like that. Now if this happens to be in the way, no problem. I'm just going to trim this off. And then what I'll do is, so I don't bump it and move it around, I'll tape it just a little bit like that. A couple pieces of tape on there, artist tape, drafting tape. There we go. This way it doesn't move around. And then we're going to do our preliminary sketch and we're going to say, okay, there's the doorway. So if we take our, you know, actually the best way to do this is to keep it, keep it sort of uh, looking like the, this here. This is more of like a, a square, a little bit of a rectangle. It's a little bit longer than it is wider. So if I spun my hand around this way, it is a little bit higher. So this is how high it is. Let's see if I spin my hand around. A little bit, it's a little bit higher, not much though. It's almost a square. Let's do it that way. It's pretty close to a square, so it's almost a square. Okay, now we're going to do this and say, all right, how are we going to start this out? We're going to do a preliminary sketch, and we're just going to look at this and say, okay, well, how much room here is on the bottom where the grass is? And it's only about this much. Can you see that? We could look at that and say, yeah, yeah, it's about right. Doesn't have to be perfect, so let's make a line across here. Preliminary sketch. There we go, we have a line across here. Now you don't have to draw it as dark as I'm doing. I'm drawing it a little darker so you see it at home on the video, because my video, my lights are bright. I'm actually turning my brightness of my lights down so you can see these sketches. If I was to turn my lights up a little more, we wouldn't even see any of these uh, pencil sketches. So I've turned the lights down just so we can see that pencil line. And then up here we can just say, okay, these are the roof lines and they look like this and then they go up like this and then we have a tree here that starts out about here and goes up like so and it gets wider as it comes down here the trunk of the tree is wider at the bottom and then there's some branches that branch off like this on a 45 degree angle and a couple come down this way and over here like that. Then we have over here the doorway. This is like a, an entrance way to the building. So let's just start doing some stairway uh, stairs, steps going into the doorway. It's about three or four steps. And then it goes up like this and like this. So it's an arch. And then I kind of sketched it out a little bit. And then I can erase it a little bit too if I need to get it a little better and that's all it is to it. You just kind of sketch it a little bit and then uh, you have it. Okay, so I have the tree, the doorway. We established the ground level of the building where the building is sitting and then there's some windows along the... Uh, and there's four windows, one, two, three, and four. So we want to make sure we got one, two, three, and four. Like that. And then there's a window over here, level with this one. So this window over here is the same level as this one. You can kind of see that. So we're going to have one window there, and then this window over here is the same height as that one. We're having a fun time here. We're just kind of plotting some things out with some light pencil lines. That's all we're doing. And then over here, 
these windows are all going to be at the same level. So you can just imagine what we have to do is just take our pencil and go, okay, there, 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 and there. Yeah, they're all level. So we can eye it. If you have a hard time using your eye as a leveling uh, instrument, you can take a ruler and just say, okay, I want to make sure these are across the same way. You could draw maybe a really super light pencil line just so you get your windows the same height. So don't be afraid to use a ruler. If you're not great with keeping things level like this, or if you have a hard time keeping things straight like this, going up like this, if you tend to go off on an angle, or you can, don't be afraid, use your rulers. You know, you just take your ruler, drop it down, say, okay, that's about straight, and draw a light pencil line, and then you draw your windows alongside that pencil line, and you'll get a little straighter lines. And not that you have to have them extremely, right up on that light line you make. You might want to leave them a little bit, vary a little bit off of your light pencil line, but at least you have that pencil line there with your ruler really lightly, super lightly, you can barely see it. This way you can kind of just get your windows close to where you want them. And that's all that is really. And then so I'll go across here and say, okay, these are here, another one over here. So you're just making some windows. And there's one more bit of windows here. And that's about it. So all you all you can tell right now is that I've really taken what I see here in my sketch right here over the, on this portion of my um, pen drawing that I did in 2016 nearby my house in an apartment complex in uh, Radburn, New Jersey. These are beautiful apartment buildings, and I sat in my lawn chair. So just pretend you and I went out there. Pretend we're going there now. Pretend we're going there. We're going to set up our lawn chairs right on this big grass field right in front of the building, and we're going to sketch this. This is what we would do. We would set up our chairs, sit down, put our sketchbook in our lap. We'd have our three drawing. We'd have our sketchbook or some paper, some printer paper on a board. You might want to have a, like a, a thin masonite board, or you have uh, something else like a clipboard, something like that, anything, or a sketchbook. And you have your three drawing in, you know, instruments. You know, you have your pen, you have your shading china marker, and you have your pencil or your office pencil. And then what we do is we, first thing we do is we sit down, we get in our chair, get the clipboard out, our paper, and we say, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to draw? And then you would draw your square first, your rectangle, and say, okay, let's frame it out. Let's get our square in first, and then zoom in and say, what section do I want to do? Do I want to do the whole panoramic picture, or I just want to zoom in and do a small section? So now we're pretending we're sitting there, we're both chatting and saying, yeah, let's, let's both, let's do this. Let's zoom in on this doorway here with the tree and the windows, and that's about it. And not too much more information. Maybe the, there's a sidewalk here. So we're doing that. Maybe we're, we're trying to keep this realistic here. So we're doing that, like that. And then we get our preliminary sketch in, our very light sketch. We just kind of went through the whole process of where's that, where's that first thing we're going to look at, the bottom of the building. Well, the bottom of the building is a short distance up from the bottom of the uh, rectangle, the drawing, the, the rectangle we just drew, the square. Up about an inch or a little bit is the bottom of the building. We got that line. Then we said, okay, let's do the tree next. And we did the tree next which is a little bit over from the center. So if this is the center of the page, the tree's like a little bit off center. Then we did the door, doorway here on the first floor. The, the main uh, common entryway to the building is here. And there's some dark, we can look really good. We're gonna do some dark shading in there. And then we said, oh, what's left? Oh, the roof. Well, the roof comes down here across and goes back up again, right on the corners of the, the rectangle here, pretty much. You know, not exact, but about there. And that's all we have to worry about. And there's another part of the roof up there, like so. We're going to shade this in, like that. And then we got our windows, and we said, hey, you know what? If you're having a tough time getting those windows straight, you could say, I need to have one, two, three, four, two on each side of the doorway, and then one in the center. So then you just take your ruler and say, OK, where's the first one? And that's the first floor. And you just draw a light pencil line across the first floor. Second floor, draw a super light pencil line, third floor, and then up top, fourth floor. Then you could take your ruler and draw this way and say, okay, where are the windows over here? 
and you can just take your ruler and do super light sketch line just so you can barely see it and you get your windows so that they're pr pretty much you know straight straight up and down or close to straight up and down so you've got them straight across and straight up and down for the most part they don't have to be perfect better off leaving them a little bit you know off rather than making them perfectly straight but but again use your ruler if you have a hard time drawing things straight vertically or if you have a hard time keeping things level where you go off on t if you tip and turn you know if you have a hard time keeping things going straight across like this no problem use your ruler get just get some very super light pencil lines in there and then you have it you're all set you've got everything lightly sketched and now we're just ready to go into our pen drawing so let's take a break and when we come back from our break we'll get started we'll do our pen drawing and we'll use our china marker to do some shading and we'll have this wonderful little excerpt of our larger um, pen drawing done and it's you'll see how fun it is I'm just does this make sense we're just going through the process don't worry about it do as much or as little as you want do maybe just the doorway if you don't want to do a whole lot of other stuff maybe just the doorway and a few windows or if you want to do this whole scene that we just looked at on the sketchbook then try the whole thing it's up to you you're the artist you decide how much or little you want to do on this particular exercise on this tutorial again a lot of people a lot of you have said you want to see more drawings and more sketches on my videos so I'm gonna start doing a little you know a few more of these here and there and if you don't like these um, I'll basically make this type of request if you really like seeing pencil drawings like this and pen drawings along with my normal routine on YouTube give me a thumbs up or write in the comments section yes more uh, you know more sketches more more drawings Chris please or you know just uh, you know thumbs up uh, drawings something that just lets me know you really like seeing these and if not we're, we won't do as many obviously but you if you really do love doing this pencil drawing and sketching you just do it on your own make sure you're doing it on your own and don't worry about what we're doing here on my channel because uh, you know I have to make sure everyone's happy I can't just go off on a tangent and start doing too many of these then everyone's going to be bored and not be happy and not getting the proper education they need with watercolor so let's get let's make sure we get our education on watercolors in as well as some drawing if you want more drawings just give me the thumbs up and, and I'll know okay and we'll do our pen drawing next I'm just gonna take a quick break and grab a cup of coffee and I'll be right back all right we are getting back started again and uh, hey let's just do a quick recap we did the first thing was we drew our rectangle our square we took our larger pencil drawing pen drawing here on my sketchbook we shrunk it down to just kind of zone in on a one small section so once we did that we have it here sectioned off with some uh, just regular um, matting or um, some regular uh, paper that I just put around here so we have a little window here so we can see this isolated we wanted to recreate this here onto this paper and then all we did is just look at it and say alright let's use a super light pencil sketch with a very very barely visible pencil line to get in the lines where the tree is and the building the bottom of the building up a little bit from the bottom of the rectangle this roof here comes down just a little bit below the top of the rectangle you have the roof line here and then it tapers up like this and then we notice the doorway and then the windows we kind of tried to use a ruler a little bit if you have a hard time penciling in some windows straight and level so you got level or vertical plumb or level so that's basically your um, that would be sort of like a, a construction term or you know design term for anyone that's in design architecture construction we call this level which is across uh, on a horizontal line level horizontally level perfectly level that would be out of level if you don't have a straight line like that a level line and then you have your vertical lines which are plumb so plumb is perfectly straight plumb line is perfectly straight vertically so if you want to keep your lines a little bit straight with your windows you can use a ruler and get your level and plumb lines just to keep them somewhat accurate you can measure them too a little bit to keep them more even if you want to use millimeters or inches to try to keep your windows a little bit symmetrical so that they kind of look like this drawing 
but the thing is now we're just going to have fun. We're going to use the pen drawing, and again, the thing is not accuracy, it's just having fun, and we're out here sketching and trying to get that basic essence of everything. And so I'll start up here and just do the roof line here. It's a little wavy, and I'm not getting too fussy with accuracy. And then let's try the tree down here. Let's do our tree. We'll come up like this. And basically I just keep my hand anchored on the paper and I'm working on a board on a little bit of an angle, maybe a 15 degree angle. And I'm just trying to get the, the plumb line of the trunk of the tree, like so. And then there's the branches that branch off the main plumb portion of the tree. And then some more smaller twigs and branches off those, there like so. And again, they don't have to be perfect, just as long as they are. You can draw some squiggly lines, get the branches kind of looking realistic. A couple of them bend down like this, over this way and that way, but most of them are at 45 degree angles. Looks good. Then let's go in and we'll contour draw. We'll do our steps. So I'm just going to do like three or four lines like that for steps. And then I'll draw my inside line for the arched doorway, which is the common entry to the building. This way everyone goes through this common entry and then they go into their apartments once they're in this main large entranceway here through the building. And you can actually see through the whole building. There's a uh, hallway that goes through here, and then it goes right out to the other side of the building. So we'll shade this in with some pen, and we'll use some, uh, we'll also use our um, China marker too. So you can start it off with a little bit of pen like that, and then we can do some further shading. And this doesn't have to be anything perfect. You just kind of hold your hand anchored tightly on the board that you're working on, your sketchbook or your board. And then you just kind of do your hash marks like that. Okay, and then this side of the tree over here is in shade. So I'll put a little bit of shade on this side of the tree. Like that. That, that looks pretty good. We'll use some shading there too. And then you have your building line here. With a little bit of brush and some twigs there. And there's another tree maybe over here, a smaller one. Let's go over this way. This one's leaning a little bit. Let's do that. This one's a little bit lighter. So let's keep this one light. Don't make this one too dark and don't make it, let's not do this one here, this tree over here. Let's make it less detailed. Let's kind of keep it light, super light. Let's keep this one nice and light like that. Just like that, super light. And then let's start doing our windows. <clears throat> so I'll just start up here. And I'll try to just maybe do the boxes of the windows first. So let me get those in quickly. I don't want to take too much time. They look kind of good too when you go quick like this. But I have that preliminary sketch, right? Do you see that? <coughs> Excuse me. I have that uh, preliminary sketch done so now I can just really zip through these windows like this because I already have them penciled in very lightly, barely, barely visible. And you can do the same thing too. Get those, get that pencil drawing done real lightly first, barely visible, and then you just go right over the top with your with your pen drawing. And you'll have a fun time zipping through this, enjoying it. And you'll just see that I'm trying to make some details on here, but not too many. this and mostly I try to keep the tops of the windows darker and if you make each one different 
that looks better than trying to make them all look the same. That's how nature is. Nature is usually, like everyone you meet, usually looks a little different. So it's kind of cool that you make your artwork sometimes that way too, if you think of it as it's more variety is better than trying to make things look the same. And then I'll just keep going through here with my pen drawing, basically scribbling in my details. You're not seeing me be too accurate. I'm trying to follow this. And if I look at this, I didn't do it accurate. I kind of did it, you know, haphazardly, and it looks good that way, like that. Look how quick we did that, too. So you don't have to spend too much time. You can do a sketch like this in 15, 20 minutes, half an hour somewhere, if you're out around you where you live or doing it from something online, whatever. Okay, so we have the basic pen drawing done. Now what we're going to do is the shading. Let's get our shading China marker and let's start out here. Let's shade in this doorway here. Perfect, look at that. There's a couple details here. I'll make some details. There's some bricks around the archway here. So I'll do some brick work like that, just some lines. Um, what else can we do? Uh, let me do some brickwork lines here. So just some very fine lines like this. Maybe just a couple of brickwork lines like this. If you can do that, just in a few spots here and there, not everywhere. You can kind of see I'm just doing a couple here and there. Just like that. And then it kind of looks like brickwork, and then you can kind of just do some dots along there. Some dots where the lines are. That looks like brickwork. There you go. Okay, there we go. Let's do some roof over here. We said the roof was over here. These are the roof shingles. Like that. Perfect. Look at how good that looks. Some roof shingles there and then some shadowing under there. Let's do a light shadow under there, like so. So your light shadow under the roof eave here, this is the roof eave here, and the roof shingles. The roof shingles are darker, and then your shadow's going to be a little lighter. You can see how I did that? I did a little bit lighter. That looks good. And then we're going to have our grass over here. Let's do this light, too. The grass is going to be about the same light and darkness of the shadow up here. So let's do that same tonal value for the grass over here. And let's go around the tree so we don't want to go over that tree and kind of cover that with shadow. Same with this one over here too. So we're just doing that light grass look over here like this with our china marker. Which keep it going the same direction if we can. There we go. Some shadowing there, some shadowing there, some bushes. And there we have it. How does that look? That looks pretty good. That looks pretty much just like this. Maybe a little shadow on the tree here, on this side. Okay, everyone, I, ho I hope you had fun. And I always mention, too, if you haven't subscribed, down here on the right-hand side, there's a subscribe button. 
Please subscribe if you're just starting out here and this is your first time here. I want to welcome you and thank you for coming by. We do excellent watercolor and drawing videos week after week, month after month, and year after year here on this uh, channel. So I always want you to kind of keep coming back and learning and growing and getting better at your uh, drawing and watercolor skills. So we're just covering drawing. If you really like this video and if you've even been here for a while, maybe you've been a long time follower of my channel for years and you really like this type of content where I'm doing drawings, pencil and pen drawings and covering stuff like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you give me a lot of thumbs up, then I'll know I want to do more of these. I'll put more of these into my uh, repertoire here on uh, YouTube. Um, if I don't see a lot of thumbs up now on this type of a video, then I know there's not many people that really want to see dr drawing videos, but I'm still going to keep doing all my watercolor videos as usual. So it's not like I'm going to replace anything I'm doing now currently with watercolors. I'm just going to try to introduce maybe a few more videos um, every now and again that are more geared towards practicing up on our drawing skills and how we can do that. So if you're interested and you like this video and you want to see a lot more of these, just give me a thumbs up and then I'll know by seeing how many thumbs up I do have in my um, channel when I go up and I open up my statistics and find out how many thumbs up I have, then I know a lot more people want to see this type of tutorials. Okay, that's all it is. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure everyone's happy here and if if enough people are saying, yes, we want to see more with thumbs up, or if you say in the comments section, yes, please, more drawings, I'm going to obviously do more because I want everyone to be happy and getting the content that you want here. That's what, why I'm here. So until we meet up again very soon, actually, it's going to be just before you know it, we're going to be creating some beautiful watercolor paintings in, in just a few. But uh, for right now, I just want to do a quick video on drawing skills, how we can basically do our 10-15 minutes a day by just learning the basic fundamental principles of sketching lightly first to lightly lay out what we're going to do and then you go over with your pen and your shading um, marker, your china marker to get in your shading and your drawing wonderfully and beautifully rendered in your sketchbook or if you're just keeping yourself some paper along with you as you go um, that's fine too get 10-15 minutes every day and I guarantee you if you're drawing and doing sketching 10-15 minutes every day consistently if you miss a day here and there no big deal but if you're doing it mostly for a consistent amount you're gonna your skills are gonna skyrocket and you're gonna do a great uh, service for yourself because your your drawing skills will go you know really well and you'll be much more confident as you're going in and doing your drawings for your watercolor paintings okay and that's what I want to see you do I want to see everyone be able to render what they want to paint and watercolor first with their pencil drawing. And then once you do that, you're going to have so much more fun um, creating your watercolor paintings. Okay, so that's all. Have a wonderful time doing this tutorial, and we'll see you soon, okay? Happy painting, everybody.